Welcome back. My name is Andy Melendrez, and I'm your Ward 2 City Council member and also the host for Good Neighbor Riverside. Let me tell you where we're at today. We're on Miracle on Main Street here in downtown Riverside, and this is a wonderful event. We have Santa Claus, we have music, a lot of happy people here. But I want to introduce you to some of the people who have made this event possible, a terrific event. They've done it for several years now, but there are some individuals that, again, purely on a volunteer basis, do this to make sure that this event takes place. Come on and follow me. I'm going to introduce you to an individual who is one of the main individuals that was on the original, I think the original um, uh, committee in starting the Miracle on Main Street. Marcos, could you state your name, your full name? Sure. My name is Marco McGuire, one of the owners of Prohibition and Bell Hotline. Um, you know, we've been doing the Miracle on Main. It started about six years ago with my brothers, Daniel, and my other brothers, Gabriel, Caesar, and uh, Gilbert, and uh, it's just kind of blown up into this great event, you know? Yeah. It looks like you have a lot of participants and a lot of partners here. Yeah, you know, when we first started the event, there was actually three vendors, and it was just our company. It was uh, Prohibition, Bell Hotline, and our barber shop. And uh, that first year, we only had like 200 kids, you know, and then we started partnering with different organizations, and that's what's been the key of our of uh, this great day because, you know, we believe it's a team effort. And when the city gets involved, you know, the councilman, and it's just a, a, a great um, day when you see all these organizations really giving back to the community. And I think that's the key. You know, I mean, it's not just about toys. It's about haircuts, how checks. I mean, the list goes on what we have here in these, uh, in these booths today. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I'll tell you, good neighbor. This is what you call a good neighbor. Thank good you, Marco. Councilman Melendez. Very great. He's been great to the community. He's involved, and that's what makes his community grow. And it's been involving. And I just want to congratulate you on that. You see the, you know, your your neighborhood, you know, just getting better and better because of your hard work and the volunteers that are with you. Well, well, thank you so thank much, you, and thank you for all the work all you right. do in our community. Take care. Happy New Year. All right, come on. Let me introduce you to another individual. See if we can find them. We're going to make uh, pan your pan the crowd. If you take a look. There are a lot, a lot of people here. A couple individuals that I really want to introduce you to. Let's see if we can find them through the crowd. One of the individuals, let's go, let's take, take a walk over this way, see if we find them. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of people here and a lot of presents. If you could pan up to Santa Claus, music, everybody having a great time. We are not seeming to find an individual. How about that? Again, the crowd is so big, we can't find the individuals that we're looking for. Ah, listen, I'm going to run. Follow me so she won't get away. Come on, keep up. Make our way through the crowd. And how are you? <laughs> Took us a while to get to her. So can you state your name, please? Carmen Linez. And tell me what your part is in here. I chair the event this year. You chaired the event. And tell us about the event and why this event came to be. So this event came to be um, for low-income families. And what we do is we have the community centers register their families. And so we give health, fun zone, haircuts, toys, um, and all of the local businesses actually help a lot in putting this event together. And this is all volunteer based, correct? It's all volunteer based and it's a great event. We are able to give a lot of families toys that otherwise may not get the toys or other services as well. And it looks like here you have also health services. Obviously in the low income community, health services are so important. They are, especially um, with the like underprivileged, you know, with insurance and a lot of different things. So we have a lot of people here that will give blood pressure information, dental information. We have free flu shots as well. Great, great. Well, thank you so much for all your work and all your commitment to the city of Riverside and also the families of, of, this, of the area. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I'm glad we're able to catch you. We <laughs> run out of rallies. And there she is. We'll find her. We'll get her. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much, Carmen. You take care. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, you can tell that there are just some very good, hardworking volunteers that make sure that an event like this takes place on an annual basis. So we hope we enjoy, you, enjoy, uh, you join us next time at Good Neighbor Riverside. But if you have an individual in your neighborhood or a group in your neighborhood that has done a wonderful job and needs to be acknowledged for the good work that they do, please contact my office, Riverside City Council, Andy Melendrez, in the city of Riverside. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time.